Okay, hi everyone. So today is to introduce to you how you can set up an account for Google SketchUp for Web for free. So go to Google for SketchUp Web, click on this icon here, and this will bring you to SketchUp. So what you need to do is to click on this top right hand corner and click on create account. And key in your name and last name as well as your educational or whichever email that you would like to have. Click on agree and then click on agree and continue. Okay, in my case, I already have <clears throat> an account. So I will just need to click on sign in. Okay. So I will use my email address, click on next. and then key in your password. And click on this to agree, click on agree and continue. Okay, so we go back here. Click on sign in. And that's it. And now you just need to click on start modeling. Click on agree and click OK and click on start modeling. Okay, so this is the default interface of SketchUp. So essentially you have a toolbar that is here on the left in which you can model and edit your models. And then what you see on the right over here are the further settings where you can check on your outliner, which is like the layers in AutoCAD. And you can have your instructor, which is basically a his, <coughs> some help assistance. What you have here is a 3D warehouse. This will be very helpful for you when you want to find uh, models that people have already created. This is a component which we will share with in the subsequent lesson. Materials, which will be useful for representation. What you have here is the styles, how you will represent your object. And then the text, which we will come to next lesson and the shades, shadows, as well as the scenes, display, soften, model info, which you can change the units. So this is the one that we would want to change. So we can click on this and then choose millimeters. Precision can be just zero and length snapping to one. Area units, it should be again in a metric format. So we can have that to be say square meters. Volume similarly to be in the metric. And dimensions, you can adjust what kind of look that you want for the fonts, but that we will go to later. Okay, so that's it for the introduction. The next video will share with you how to start modeling very quickly with SketchUp.